Hello, welcome to another video. This is the derivative of arc secant, or what we say inverse secant. I don't know how to do it, but there's something I know how to do. I know how to take the derivative or how to differentiate secant, because I know the derivative of secant is secant tan, okay? Secant x is secant x tan x. So that might be a safe way to go. So at this point, I don't know what to do, but there's something I'm gonna say. I'm gonna let this expression that I don't know how to differentiate be y. So I can say let y be equal to the inverse secant of x. You see, this makes my life a lot more reasonable because I know from my trig that if I want to undo any inverse function, I just need to um, put it as the argument for the inverse of it. So the inverse of inverse secant is secant. So if I take the secant of both sides, see what's going to happen. If I take the secant of y, I'm going to be taking the secant of inverse secant of x also. And see what it gives me? It just gives me secant y, which I know how to differentiate. And on the right hand side, because it's the inverse of the inverse, it just gives me back my x. Now this looks like something that I can deal with. Okay, now because we're gonna eventually need it, it's good that you go back and quickly make a triangle representing this trig, I, trig function. So what is secant y? Let's say we have a triangle. Let's make the triangle here. So now it looks like the angle is y. So if the angle here is y, what is secant? Secant is the, uh, the reciprocal of cosine. So cosine should be adjacent over hypotenuse. So secant will be hypotenuse over adjacent. So, and this is, you just leave it this way, okay? So it's hypotenuse over adjacent, which is hypotenuse over adjacent. So what would this be? Well, Pythagorean, um, Theorem tells us that we're going to have um, the square of this minus the square of this. So that's going to be the square root of x squared minus 1. So we have the three parts of the triangle. So now let's go take the derivative. Remember that if you can find dy dx, you have differentiated this because this is this. So this answer is basically dy dx. So let's go find dy dx. So here we have the secant of y is equal to x. If we differentiate both sides, d dx of secant y will be equal to d dx of x. So if I take the derivative of this, it's going to be implicit because I'm differentiating with respect to x. So first I differentiate the outside, the answer is going to be the secant of y. You take the derivative first, then you multiply by the derivative of the argument. Okay, that's that's a chain rule. I just apply the chain rule here. And here, I'm going to take the derivative of this, which is just um, x prime, which is 1. So what is the derivative of secant y? It's going to be secant y, tan y. OK, secant y, tan y, multiplied by y prime, which is dy dx. So this is the guy we've been looking for. And it looks like we're almost there. So let's isolate dy dx. We're going to get dy dx will be equal to, you divide both sides by secant y, tan y. It's going to be 1 over, over secant y, tan y. Nice. Well, we would always hope that secant y, tan y will not be 0, okay, in this case. But that's not the important thing. We're just differentiating, okay? At this point, what do we get? What is secant y? See, now you no longer struggle because the triangle is there to provide everything. What is the secant of y? I think we got it. It was x, right? So secant y is hypotenuse, hypotenuse over adjacent. That's going to be x. So you have dy. Let's write it here. So dy dx is going to be 1. 1 over. What would this be? Secant y is x. And what is tan y? Go here. What is tangent? opposite over adjacent. So it's just this, this over one, which is going to be this, the square root of 
x squared minus 1. And you're done. So we can say that the derivative d dx of secant inverse of x any time, any day is 1 over x times the square root of x squared minus 1. Never stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.